briefly describe your experience being a black man in America, the father, the son, and the husband. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. Um, yeah. Well, <clears throat> proud black man to be in America for one. Um, to be honest with you, I'm having a joy being a black father, especially in these times, uh, knowing what our country is kind of going through. Um, I have a five-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter, and they just absorb a lot, you know, uh, whether it be watching TV or even when they read books or just being in their environment when they are going to school. They recognize the uh, different shades, colors, and different ethnicities, and they have questions, you know, and I'm way more, more than proud and, and, and um, active with answering those questions the best way I possibly can. And um, my daughter being 10, very smart, you know, um, I wanted to show and will continue to show <clears throat> different things that's diverse. And when it comes to uh, racial equality and like injustices, I let my children know early because I hate to find out late. Um, I would hate for them to find out late, um, just to, for them to just kind of just be in the know of what's in store for them in the future and what's to come. You know, you just never know what, what's to come. And at least they can say that, you know, their father taught them that, you know, and they're not leery or weird about it, you know. Um, so, yeah, just being a black father, is, it's an amazing thing <clears throat> to know that your children at such a young age already kind of embrace their skin color, their background, and uh, their greatness. You know, I always tell my daughter she's black girl magic, and I always tell my son he's little black, black boy joy. And so I always, always embody that, and I, I let that uh, be known. I'm a very affectionate father, too. Um, this is something as a parent you should do um, with your children especially as a, with this stigma of being black fathers. I hate it that's in America that they feel like black fathers aren't in their kids' lives um, and we're not in, in encouraging them. We're not a deep part in their lives. You know, we always get the, uh, how good the black mama is, which she is, you know, but we, we should always push the narrative of how great black fathers are. And I feel like a great black father, not perfect, by any means, but I do my very best to instill knowledge into my kids about their background and where they come from. Um, being a black husband, same narrative. You know, they say that black men are prone to being with women outside their race, which I don't think is true. Uh, if you look at the numbers, majority of black men are married and are with black women. But the other narrative always being pushed which I feel sucks, you know, but there's nothing better than black love. Um, me and my wife have had our struggles. I mean, our struggles, but that's marriage. And uh, being in a marriage, it isn't easy. You know, love hurts. Love is good too. It's all at the same time. When it comes to love, you'll get hurt. <clears throat> and it can feel like the most beautiful thing you've ever felt, you know, and, uh, Marriage comes with fighting. You have to fight every single day. And I'm not just not talking about arguing and bickering and being physical or anything like that. You're fighting to keep the person that you said, yes, I do to, you know? So I'm enjoying being a husband and, and a father in that all regard and being black shit. I'm on top of the world, <laughs> for real. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. 